I don't think you should badmouth your competition, and here's why. Ultimately, it provides no value. It shifts your focus to the wrong side of the equation. You're focused on them. You're focused on saying how horrible they are instead of speaking how good you are, how good your team is. What are the services or products that you can provide? How do you make them better? How do you bring value to your customers? I've worked a number of different organizations in my life so far, and I've consulted um, many more, and I've joined certain advisory boards in the past where certain members of the executive team or leadership team would always only focus on how bad that other Fortune 1000 company is, how horrible they were in product and sales and pricing and structure and whatever it may be. Instead, they should have focused on acknowledging where your competition is, but looking for ways for you and your organization to capitalize on those missed opportunities by your competition. So, as a good rule of thumb, if you will, as you move forward in your career and your business, um, whether it's working for someone, whether you own your own business, whether you're consulting, whether you're part of advisory committees or boards or boards of directors, wherever you are, be aware of your competition, be aware of what they're doing, where they're going, where they're moving, but don't spend any time, especially not publicly, criticizing or bad-mouthing your competitors. That, at the end, will speak more about you, your integrity, your areas of focus, your leadership, than about theirs. Focus on improving your own products, your own services, your customer experience. Look at different creative, innovative strategies as to how you can make your products more affordable. How do you make them different? How do you make them distinguish themselves from the ocean of competition. Focus on yourself. Focus on how you can provide value, whether you are one way, one man or one woman show, right? Starting now in a consulting role or starting a small business, or you're a part of an organization that has thousands or tens of thousands of employees across the world. Focus on why people should work with you, why they should partner with you, why they should contract your services, why they should buy your products. That is where the magic is. That is the business you're in. You're not in the business of putting other people down or cutting other trees down on the property so that your tree ends up being the tallest one in the yard simply because it's the last one standing. Nurture, focus, water that plant so it becomes something you're proud of one day instead of poisoning all others in the vicinity. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. As always, if this is the first video you have noticed or watched, please consider subscribing below and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. And finally, and most importantly, please leave your comments below this video on the topic I just covered. Have a wonderful day.